Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Well, I, I, this, either this is the smallest room or the biggest crowd. I'm not so sure. <laughs> There's a lot of you there. And thank you all for spending some time tonight listening to uh, legislators and some of our staff folks talk about policy. We uh, are very pleased to be here. Let me tell you just a little bit about myself. I am a, a third term chairman of Dawson County which is about 65 miles outside of Atlanta, north of Atlanta. Um, most of you probably know us from the North Georgia Premium Outlet Mall, because that's where most of you go. And it is in Dawson County. We, uh, we bring in about 5 million people a year to that facility. And uh, it's a you know, traffic nightmare just about any time you look at it. I'm also a past commissioner of Gwinnett County many, many years ago. I'm hitting the counties one at a time, <laughs> so I think that's the extent of it. Uh, I, I, I also, besides that, I, I have to chair a, a bank board. We're one of the few that's left. Um, we are a, a small community bank. There used to be seven of us, and now there's just one of us, and that's a lot of fun. And then lastly, I work for my wife. Quite frankly, she owns her own business, and so I really do work for my own wife. But I'm so pleased to be this year's uh, this year's president. I wanted to uplift just a, a few folks in particular, and then, and then I'll, I'll do something else. Charlotte Nash, who is either the second or third vice president, depending on what day of the week it is. Charlotte is going out. She is chairwoman. Uh, she and I used to work together many, many years ago. And she usually picks on me when she's the one speaking. I won't do that to you. Oh, you're kind. You know I'm thinking. It doesn't let you not bother yourself out of the out of no, I understand. I understand. <laughs> and then, and then our past president, O.D. Netter, O.D. I said this every time I've been someplace. O.D. has been a mentor to me. He was the one that got me started um, doing some things with the association. So I so much appreciate him and his his words of wisdom. And then Joyce always has a smile on her face from the district manager position. What I'd like to do now is uh, those folks that um, did not stand up as part of the county. We've got several people who are here tonight who represent different entities around the state and we'll start off and let them stand up and just introduce themselves so you know who's here from there. Um, Terry, we'll start at the back with you with DOT. Hi, yeah, I'm, I'm Terry Gable with the Georgia DOT out of the Atlanta office. Glad to be here. Thank you. Anybody at this stage? Yeah, I'm John Leonard, Southern Georgia Regional Commission. Thank you. Sherry Davis. I'm Sherry Davidson, Southern Georgia Regional Commission. Alex Johnson, Congressman Scott's office. Anybody at this table back here? Back here? How about over here? Yeah, anybody? Yeah, we go around. Just yeah. be a FaceTime. Leanna Ashcraft, I'm with the Department of Community Affairs, the regional manager for regional ed. Right. Anybody here? Carlos. Carlos is on our board manager. Um, anybody here? Please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, we've got our representative, Jay Roberts. And our Senator Tom Harper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm back here. I'm probably texting that area. Please read the yoke. We'll get enough of us. Yeah, <laughs> uh, anybody here? I mentioned Charlotte. Anybody else? Who else? Somebody here? Where's Jerome? Oh, I'm sorry, Jerome. You're with? Yes, You're with? Lyons County. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, so I, anybody here outside of the mayor? So appreciate the mayor being here. Uh, now, for just a second, uh, our sponsor tonight, Tom Carmichael uh, Jr. with uh, Carr, Briggs, and Ingram. I got that right. And where's the. Would you come up and just say a few words? We so appreciate you being a sponsor for us. We've got 12 district meetings, and there's a sponsor for every one of them, and that helps us bring these to fruition. So. Thank you, Mike. And as Mike mentioned, my name is Tom Carmichael. I'm an auto insurance partner with Carr, Briggs, and Ingram CPAs. Uh, we are a regional CPA and advisory firm uh, covering the southeastern United States. We've got over 30 offices, uh, roughly over 800 professionals, and serving over 200 cities, counties, and municipalities uh, over that area. Currently, we're the uh, uh, a top 30 firm in the nation and third largest uh, in the South. So we appreciate you being here. I've left just a little collateral information, which I'll tell you just a little bit more about our firm. And you can certainly tell you over the years from working with, with our clients and seeing what counties in the state of Georgia are able to do working together with the leadership of ACCG, it's, uh, it's uh, certainly beneficial for us. And we just appreciate the opportunity to be 
here and uh, be a part of the meeting. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Appreciate that again. We appreciate our sponsors. You want to stand up and say a few words? Come on. I'll get up later. Huh? I'll get up later. Okay. Uh, let me uh, talk just a minute about the association. Um, we are a very strong association that cares about our commissioners and our commissioners care about our citizens. And that's the reason that we do what we do. When I first took office, I had four things that, that I wanted to do, and, and we're working on all four of those. One of them is, is pretty uh, pretty quiet, but means quite a bit. If you look on your table, you've got this uh, pamphlet, and in front of it, it says ACCG Advancing Georgia Counties. That's different than what we used to say. It's a branding change, it's a quiet branding change, but it means a whole lot because it talks about more folks than what we were starting out to do. And we'll do some more branding as we go along. So that's one initiative. And another initiative of revising a strategic plan that started some five years ago. And we are now in our first phase of doing that. Um, I wanted us to get more into the technology age by communication. And we're doing some things in communication that I think will help us in the future. If uh, you can remember way back when, those of you, and there are not many of you that are old enough to remember this, but when TVs used to have tubes instead of just the microchip. Uh, I once grabbed a tube and played with it and broke it. It was a $2,000 Keflo tube. My father let me know how important that was to our family and the TV. We've gone from that to this fall when, uh, when the Christmas sales start, we'll be talking to our watches. That's just amazing to me. And we've got to stay up to date with that. We've got to be able to communicate where we can't travel as far as we used to and we can't spend the money that we used to. And so that's an initiative. And then the last one is next year, 2014, Associated County Commission celebrates its 100th year anniversary. That's pretty neat, 100 years. We're gonna be doing things all through the year, culminating uh, at the end of the year, but we're also gonna have our, our uh, Association Convention, which uh, we'll be doing a lot of things there. But the most important part of that is we celebrate not just what we've done, but what we're doing today and what we do tomorrow. So it's very important for us to let people know where we are. This meeting tonight is all about policy and how we change policy to advocacy. We started out with seven different committees, policy committees, we work through those policy committees to come up with the ideas, the thoughts that we think will help the citizens of Georgia. Then we get together a few weeks ago and voted as an assembly, voted on those policies, and we've come up with three major policies that we'll talk about tonight. From, that pol from those policy statements, we then talk with our legislators and discuss what we think is for a benefit of the citizens of Georgia. It's a very unique process for the state, for us, and it, but it makes us all come together and try to understand what each other's needs are. So you'll be looking forward to listening to and, and hearing from uh, legislators as they talk about what they've heard from us and what they plan to do in the future. With that, I'd like to introduce our executive director, Ross King, let him come up and talk to you about what he sees from the association standpoint. Ross. Thank you, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. 